Hey Bourbon fans, I'm Tim the Suburban Dad. Are you still hunting for Blanton's, killing yourself trying to find it, overpaying when you do? Have you tried any other bottles? Well, this video is not meant to slam Blanton's exclusively, I'll do that a little bit, but the main point is there is more to the allocation game than you might realize. It's not just about special releases from Buffalo Trace and some of these other famous companies. I'm here to argue that store picks, yes, single barrel selections from your local liquor store are the new allocated bottles to be hunting for. Let's get to it. Before I dive in, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell letting you know that you're signed up for notifications so that way you'll know when future content is dropping because pff, you do not want to miss anything on this channel. And what the heck, give this video a like. I'm sure you're enjoying it. So a store pick bottle is a single barrel that your local liquor store or maybe it's as big as a grocery store chain or something like that. Some store has chosen a particular barrel and they've bottled it and they're selling it with their sticker on it. Why is that special? Why is that cool? Well, you could have any run-of-the-mill bourbon that you can normally find anywhere. Let's say Buffalo Trace, which, okay, bad example. You can't really find it anywhere anymore, but um, New Riff. You can find New Riff just about anywhere. And if uh, you get a store pick, you're gonna have a different experience than just the one you grab off the shelf from anywhere. So, for that reason, it's a little bit more special and it's time sensitive because once that bottle sells out, once that all the, the bottles from that barrel sell out, that's it. That's it. That, you're not going to get that same bottle ever again. So, I've had a few store picks that I've really enjoyed. I've got a couple store picks from Balcones. This one is the True Blue Cask Strength from Total Wine in Texas. This one is their Cask Strength Single Malt, the Single Barrel Single Malt. That's from a local liquor store here in Missouri called Dogwood on Highway K. And it, both of these bottles were fantastic. So when you find a store pick like this, especially a store that you know has good stuff, or you know the owners and you know that they have good taste, you can almost guarantee that you're in for a treat rather than just say, oh, I've never tried this bourbon. Let's, uh, I guess I'll give this a whirl. Yeah, you could do that. You could be adventurous, but store picks are a little bit more of a safe bet for real. I'm thankful to be part of a couple great whiskey societies, in particular the Gateway City Whiskey Society, um, also the St. Louis Bourbon Society. Both do single barrel picks. These are both from Gateway City. Uh, this along with the balconies has gone to whiskey heaven, of course. But Starlight has been a very booming company in terms of doing store picks. They have some standard bottles, which you can get now in Missouri, thankfully, because it's good stuff. But they do a lot of store picks, a lot of different barrel finishes, types of ryes, bourbons, you name it. This one was very tasty. Um, I got this from um, Lebanon Wine and Spirits, and it's uh, it's just a different experience because I know the people who chose this, and I know that they have awesome taste buds. So uh, it turned out to be very tasty. Plus, you get awesome tater stickers depending on the bottle as well, which is just fun. And of course, something fancy and awesome like uh, Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. Now, the Barrel Proof releases during the year are good enough in and of themselves, but a special release like this, specifically chosen by trusted sources, is that much better. These both are just fantastic. This one was great. This one is delicious, just caramel bomb. Now, those are store picks from places, uh, most of those are from places that I know. Now, you can get into more general 
store picks like uh, this Eagle Rare. Managed to get it from Total Wine. Some place like Total Wine is going to be a lot more hit or miss because, you know, it's a bigger company. You're really not sure who's doing the picking and they might not care as much as your local liquor store, you know? Your local shop, they're going to be more down to earth. They're going to realize what their customers want. They're going to put their time and effort into it because it's their livelihood versus somebody at Total Wine. They might enjoy what they're doing, but let's face it, they're just probably not going to have the same level of commitment. Um, or like Knob Creek here. This is from a local grocery store. And uh, again, it's still going to, I haven't cracked into it yet, but I would imagine that it's going to be better than the regular one, but maybe not quite as spectacular as a local store pick would be. So don't kill yourself searching for allocated bottles. I mean, don't pass it up if, the, if a good opportunity comes along. I know I wouldn't. But at the same time, there are some other options out there of special limited edition bottles that'll tickle your fancy, I promise. Don't take my word for it. Try it out. Until next time, cheers.